Curtains open, the spotlight beams down on center stage. Three kids sit around laughing and playing amongst each other. Dim lights shine on the kid in the background watching all this go down. If there's four of us on stage, then why are there only three mics set up? Mom, I've done my best to show you I belong in this family. I remember a time we used to be one of those families that would do practically everything together. We watched movies together, belted out the lyrics to Dream Girls together, made fun of the girls off of bad clubs together, all in the comfort of your room. Your smell lingering on everything you touched, your pillows I would bury my face in and just breathe in your scent. But mom, tell me, when did our lives get so complicated? When did it become normal for me to feel like I'm no longer welcome? You see, as the years went on, it seems like I've had to re-audition just to be your son for the moments we spend together. Just to make sure you, the director of it all, can run a good show. If there are four of us that belong to you, then how come there's only, then how come there's only room for three up front? Cutscene, we zoom in on a family, laughing and playing. But mom, where am I? Mom, I want to be the ideal son you want in your life, but that just can't be me. I can't change myself, and I refuse to change myself for anyone, even if that someone is you. I can't conform myself to be the bright, intelligent young black male you want me to be. I want to be the smart black male I know I can be. I might not be able to bring back those grandchildren you've always wanted from me, but mom, I just want to be able to go back to the old days when you could call me son proudly, and I didn't have to assume a different personality just so I could live in our house comfortably. But instead, I've been pushed backstage and I have been ordered to behave all because I can't be a slave to your demands. If there's supposed to be four of us, how come I only see three main roles in this script? Yeah. Auditions come around and with an audience of you, I stand here to try and claim my place in your life. I stand here in front of you nervous and shaking, hoping I don't choke. I memorized the lines you wanted me to say. I made sure to say my please and thank yous, my no sirs and yes ma'ams. I've learned how to sew my lips shut and keep my thoughts chained up to prevent talking back to the adults. I've acted like I can be the happy son you want me to be, but tell me mom, how far do you want me to change myself before you can proudly call me son? Before we can just go back to the way things used to be. But mom, I can't live this life for the rest of my life just to make us happy. The me right now is just as important and just as valuable as the image you want me to portray. Yeah. Opening day comes around and all the time and stage is set up just how you like it. Three mics on stage and a place to where I can sit in the back light. Curtains open up and we're presented to the world. There are four of us on stage and only three mics in place. Script says that I should step back, but the child you want me to be is a change for society. I only got one mirror, so I step back, I step forward and push them back and cry out, I'm my mother's real child. I'm the side that is always kept in the dark and I went out. I want you to see me for who I am and not just for the character I play. My name is Ronald Charles Rashad McGrew. I may not be the young black male that wears a suit and tie, but last time I checked, my ancestors were done dressing to impress the men that put the shackles on your ankles, prancing around with our no sirs, and yes, Sirs. Last time I checked, my ancestors were done having ties decorating their neck. This boy will no, be called no strange fruit, because I know that I could be more than that. So sit back and listen, because this boy is finally going to be heard. <laughs> Closing time, you give me this look of disbelief, anger, disappointment. The show is over. People go home. On stage, you just see three mics. If you say that you want to hear what I'm feeling, then why do I have to shout just so I can be heard? <laughs>